Ach, Mann. Welcome. Um... How are you? Sleep well? Yes, very well. I... wanted to, uh... Talk about your son. Have you made up your mind? <clears throat> yes. We agree with you. Egil must be stopped. But we can't act now. <clears throat> oh? Why is that? Before we came here, we heard of plans to form an allied force on Bionis. Any day now, they're going to launch an attack on Mechonis. But it's too dangerous. Egil has made a weapon that could kill us all. The weapon that Munkar was using? The one that shoots green fluid. He said it can decompose any being from Bionis. <clears throat> we have to go back and warn them before it's too late. <clears throat> Schon das können wir jetzt well, sogar schon erledigen. You could always ask me to do it. Dixon. <clears throat> what are you doing here? Wie kommt der hier her? I can't believe you found us. Why? This place is directly below the fortress. If you fell from up there, I figured you must have ended up here. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> you're looking well, Dixon. Ah, I see you're looking like your usual old self. Dickens is... We know each other. Kinda. <laughs> I scratch his back. He scratches mine. He tells us about the outside world. And we give him technology and information. Why did you keep that to yourself? That information is vital to all who fight Maconis. Not all of us Homs are good people. What would happen if the Maconis hating types found this place? These Machina cut themselves off from the world to get away from pointless yes. fighting. So they escaped to live in peace. Somewhere they wouldn't be seen. Makes sense. Clever little crown princess, ain't ya? So this is where you obtained all that stuff you brought back to Colony 9. I wondered where you were getting it from. I thought it was fine as long as it helped shulk out at the lab. I guess the secret's out now. So, that weapon. How dangerous are we talking about? I haven't discovered why, but it disintegrates anything it touches. But only if it's living tissue from Bionis. Hmm. Bet that would come in handy. Dixon. I'm only joking. <clears throat> anyway, for now, just don't let any of it touch you. I'll come up with something to counter it. Leave it with me and I'll keep you posted. You lot go and take care of that eagle or whatever his name is. If you take him down, the Allied force might not even be needed. Okay. Let me think about it for a bit.
Fiora. Ain't made your mind up yet. Dixon, listen. Dunban told me all about it. The goal of your mission. So, you wanted to avenge Fiora? Yes. But you found her alive. And now you've got her back. So, you're all done now, ain't you? <sighs> what are you fighting for, Dixon? Me? He just gets right under my skin. That Egil guy. Because he's trying to exterminate the Homs? There's that. But that ain't everything. It's his hatred for the Bionis. Or more like his aim to wipe out everything that lives on the Bionis. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing. That Bionis allied force is coming together quicker than I thought. Really? Yep. That high end here prince is really moving things along. Will they launch an attack on Maconis? Of course. But it looks like the prince has got another plan. He gave me a message for you. When the Allied force attacks Maconis, you don't need to join the fight. He wants you to take advantage of the chaos and do what it is you need to do. Prince Callian said that. I was pretty surprised too. He looks like a sissy, but he's got guts. Yeah. I think that's the type of man he is. So, what are you gonna do? He wanted me to let him know. We're going to the Maconis capital. You're gonna take down Egil? I don't know. I can't forgive the Mekon for what they've done. But after listening to Mikon, I think there might be another way. You're too soft. Do you really think that? Too right. He's the self-proclaimed leader of Mechonis. I heard about what he did to the Monado. If you face him, it might get eaten up. But you have to throw everything at him. Even if there's only a slim chance of winning. Hesitate for one second, and you're a goner. We won't let Shulk die. Not ever. Fiora. Are you okay to be walking around? Yep. I have to hand it to her. That Lenarda's pretty good. And not just with machines. She's also quite familiar with organic physiology. You went to get the things you needed to cure me, right? I'm sorry I caused all this hassle. But I'm fine now. I'll be by your side, fighting to protect you. No matter where we go, no matter how difficult it gets, Shulk will do the right thing. It doesn't matter how slim our chances. Shulk will always stick to the right path. And don't forget, it's because of Shulk that we are all here, fighting together. I think that shows he has a strong character. Am I wrong, Dixon? Well, when I think about everything you lot have done, I can't deny that. Dixon, we're going to the Maconis capital. About the Allied force, yeah, leave it to me. I ain't gonna let anything happen to the colony. Those Mekon won't get away with anything else. Are you going? Yes. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> you might run into someone called Venea in the capital. Just mention my name, she'll lend a hand. Venea? Is she a machina as well? She's my daughter. She won't be far from Egil. Hold on. You mean she's Egil's sister? You've got it, lad. And you say she'll help us? The girl doesn't want to hurt Egil, but she doesn't like what he's doing. She should be a big help to you, young'uns. I don't know why she'd help us, but... We'll try and find her when we get there. 
Good luck. Fiora, don't forget. I've only made temporary repairs. I think you should be able to fight, but don't overdo it. Come and see me the moment you experience any further system failure. I will. Thank you. In the meantime, I'm hoping I'll find a way to restore your former body. Is that possible? Theoretically, it might be possible to use your genetic information to regenerate your missing organs. Sorry, it's unfair for me to give you hope. To be honest, there's very little chance. But if there's even the slightest possibility, I'll have to try. Thank you, Leonarda. Fiora. <laughs> Don't make that face. Okay, let's go. Off you go, kid. I'm counting on you and the Monado. Don't let me down, Shulk. Why did that face betray me? And that light? No, that is not possible. It must have been remnants of memories from her former life that made me lose control. Memories. They are what limited the potential of Metal Face as well. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. All my servants need is the instinct to fight. This Homs female. She was with the boy who wields the Monado. A light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. So it is this male. The boy Shulk remains a thorn in my side. I will enjoy watching my minion crush him. Be still, my servant. I see that your memories cause you much suffering. Shulk, take this. What is it? There's a path leading from the base of Digit 2 to the foot of the Mechonis. This is the security key to the door that seals the path. We who live in the village don't have any need for it, but it will be invaluable to you. We're in your debt, Linada. Shulk, Fiora, take care in your journey. We will. Linada. Thank you for everything. So, jetzt muss ich erstmal mein Team wieder zusammenstellen. Uh, Ich nehme einfach mal schon mal sehen, was das gut passt.
Do it! I don't want anyone dying out there. Everyone, do your best. Oh, I really like our vibe. Me too, Fiora. Backlash! That might get killed. Or something. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Cool. Let's keep this up. den Weg versperrt. Ah! 
Die Musik ist so entspannt. Die schläfert ein. Das hier ist der Zeigefinger. Schon beeindruckend.
Bionis and Mechonis. Ah, oh, it's so different seeing them from this kind of perspective. We cannot see it from here, but our people are still fighting up there. It's difficult to believe that two such huge things ever fought each other. I wonder how the Machina felt at the time. Must have been horrible. Scary, too. Fear robs us of reason. Out of fear, we commit terrible atrocities and call them acts of self-preservation. Fear gives rise to more fear. A never-ending circle of hatred. Perhaps that circle can be broken. Fear. It must be what's driving this. What's made Egil act this way. Oh. Um. Linkes Bein. Unser Weg führt nach oben, ne? Wie gesagt, ab hier weiß ich auf jeden Fall gar nicht mehr, was auf uns zukommt, ne? We're inside the Mechonis. Just how I imagined it. It's all totally mechanical. It ain't gonna be easy getting up this thing. Egil is at the top. 